Hi, it's Miss House. We're going to do another problem that requires U substitution. Our problem is integral 6x plus 5 to the second power dx. Now, I can't separate this as a 6x and a 5 because this square belongs to the whole thing. And I would have to fold it out, 6x plus 5 times 6x plus 5. And that's fine. I could do it for a second power. But if this is to the third power or the fourth power, that's, that's just not practical. So we're going to use u substitution on this. So here's what I do. I keep in mind that if I had to take the integral of u squared du, that would be easy. That would be u to the 3 over 3 plus c because I would add one to that and divide by it, right? So that was a very easy integral to take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this easier by using u substitution. So u is going to be the inside of the function 6x plus 5. That means if I take the derivative of this, with respect to the x variable, and that's very important, okay? So it's the derivative of a function named u with respect to the x, it's gonna be six. And if I wanna move this dx to the other side, look, it's like multiplying through by dx, I know that du is six dx. Now, I'm gonna substitute for the for the 6x plus 5, I'm going to substitute the u, and that's going to be the second power. Okay. Now, for dx, this is with respect to u, so I'm going to need a du. So I've got to put in this du, but the problem is I don't have a dx. I have a 6dx. So I'm going to insert a 6 here so that I have a 6dx. But if I multiply by 6, I also need to divide by 6. So, so what I do is I put a 1 6 out here. Because think about that. What's 1 6 of 6? Well, that's just 1. So I'm not changing the value. I'm just putting a 1 6 here and a 6 in here so that I can substitute. Instead of 6 dx, I can write du. And there's that simple integration I did earlier u to the third over 3 plus c. But don't forget, there's a 1 sixth out here. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Okay, let's clean that up a little bit. And then let's clean that up a little bit. And then we will check it by taking the derivative of it. So look, we've got u to the third over 18 plus c, where u was 6x plus 5, so it's 6x plus 5 to the third, and let's just put a 1 18th out here. You can write it all over 18, it's the same thing. So there's our answer. 1 18th, 6x plus 5 to the third plus c. So remember, what we've done is we found the original function for which a derivative was taken, and that derivative was 6x plus 5 squared. Okay, that's what we're saying the derivative was. So let's take the derivative of this and see if that is in fact what the derivative is. So remember, we're doing derivative now. So instead of adding one, dividing by one, we're gonna subtract one and multiply by it, right? So we're gonna do the power times the base, and there's a 1 18th there, don't forget that, to the power minus 1, which would be 2, times the derivative of the base, this is the chain rule, a 6. And so look, I've got a 3 over 18 times 6, so that's 3 over 1, go over here, do a little arithmetic on the side, I've got a 3 over 1, a 1 over 18, and a 6 over 1 down here. I'm get all these numbers, I can multiply them all together. So look, 3 goes into 18 6 times, 6 goes into 6 1 time, I'm left with a bunch of 1's. In other words, all this stuff cancels out. 
look what I'm left with. 6x plus 5 squared. That was the function that we took the integral with, which meant the derivative had been taken, and that's what we got. So when you take the derivative of this function, this is what you get. All right, so let's enter that in the My Math Lab. So we got 1 over 18, 6x plus 5 to the third. And remember, we have to put the plus C because this function could have had any number added to the end of it, the derivative of which was 0.